Hey guys, it's the Aussie Arm Wrestler here, and here is the weekend recap. Ready? Bang! And we are starting with our favourite man in arm wrestling at the moment, the saltiest of all saltiest, the man that sees money and doesn't want it. He doesn't want the money, and I'm talking about the Don, Igor Mazarenko. It just baffles my mind why this guy hates money. Have no idea. If anyone, I'll put the post up here, but this is what he wrote just recently. Regarding the match requested by Levan versus Devon match, PAL wants to congratulate Devon on his recent victory over the always dangerous Michael Todd and apologise to their fans for any perceived disrespect that the fans may have felt in PAL stance towards these athletes. It was not our intent. Instead, we aim to create a promotion that will provide a platform for the athletes to showcase their abilities in the purest. Purest? Purest? Come on. Come on. Anyway, I'll continue. Uh, most arm wrestling is an Olympic sport kind of way. We feel PAL, Zloty Tour, and the top eight are great examples of that. While having a random match between our champions and those other... Those other organisations. He can't even mention their names. Hilarious. Hilarious stuff. Might do fan service. Might, you need fans. You need fans. You need fans to watch it. The, the pay-per-view thing. You needed the fans to buy the pay-per-view. You needed fans to buy your pay-per-views back in the day. And attend. Like... I don't get it. I don't get it, mate. I really don't. I don't get it. But anyway, I will I will carry on. My, it would disrespect the hard work of our athletes have put in to earn their places in our league. Contractual obligations aside, this is more important to us than any possible financial gain in arranging the hot flavor of the week match. Yeah. I think... Devon and Levan have been on top for a few years now. And Devon's been around for decades. I'm not sure if this is a hot flavour. This is the money match. This is the match we all want to see. This is the match the arm wrestling world is absolutely gagging for. This is what we want. This is what we need. Not sure if it's the hot flavour of the match. Is it, mate? I understand at times... You know, and it's just such a great rivalry. The the content that would come out, East versus West, and the the battle between Devon and Levan to call it a hot flavour of the week. Come on! Oh, Igor, I'm trying to like you, and I try to defend you in conversations, and you start throwing this out of the Aussie arm wrestle. What am I supposed to do? I'll finish it off. We hope someday these great competitors can meet and perhaps time will provide a format in which this can be arranged. For now, the next season of Top 8 is coming soon and Levan has serious tests in Dave Chafee, another great North American champion. Ahead of him, we hope we'll su you will support these great athletes in tuning in to watch the great arm fight. Of course we will. Of course we're going to tune in to see Levan pull. We're dying to see him pull. And I actually think Dave Chafee will beat Levan. But to say other organisations, you can't your, do your fingers, you know, disintegrate in, in order to do that. Igor, my man, what are you doing? You are just telling half of your fans, half of the arm wrestling world, basically to go and get stuffed. You've just, uh, you're just having some sort of weird allergic reaction. Change the water that you drink. I'm not sure. It seems to have a bit of bitterness in it. It's just blowing my mind. This text message that I've got left up on the screen is just your way of saying it's PAL or it's not happening at all and you have to go through Zloty to top eight. I think you're, if I'm reading it right, you are saying the exact same reason that you were saying for Michael Todd to pull Levan. Oh, I, I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. it if it happens under PAL, mate, if it happens under PAL, will you allow this match to just happen straight after the Dave Chafee match? So if somehow Levan comes out, top rolls Dave Chafee and beats him, which is going to be very difficult, but that's another video. Will you allow this match to happen? Jeez, I hope so. Guys, let me know in the comments what you feel about Soldier Eagle. Keep it clean, guys. 
But let me know who you think will win out of uh, Levan and Dave. And then also let me know what you think of the hot flavor of the week match. Oh, wow. Wow, you've done your best, Igor. You've, you've done your best. But I'm just going to leave it at that. Hit me up, Igor. I like you. Hit me up. But you, you're missing out on a lot of money here. Just, hey? Hey, bud? Hey? Just give us a buzz. Give us a buzz. The Aussie arm wrestler is always here. Ne- Next up on the list, talk about feeling good. Well, we... Cobra Rhodes, back on the table at the Michigan State Championships. Oh, every time I speak to Cobra, I'm like, mate, when are you getting back on the table, you sweet son of a gun? The arm wrestling world needs you back on the table. You have been nothing but pure positivity for the arm wrestling world, whether it's all your world titles back in the day, your, your efforts on the reality TV show Game of Arms. You, you were fantastic on that. The stuff you're doing lately with Uncle John and, and branching out into the YouTube world has been fantastic. That great interview with Randy Couture was amazing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to Cobra's channel and Uncle John's channel and check out an amazing interview Cobra did. But anyway, massive tangent. Bang! You have gone on and, and getting back on the table and the Aussie arm wrestler is just beyond excited. And Cobra Rhodes, for the bottom of my heart, thank you for coming back on the table I saw your your pre-bit earlier. I hope you competed on the day and just went bang and took everyone's hand and showed them that you're still the man. So Cobra Rhodes at the Michigan State was fantastic. Another thing that was fantastic at the Michigan State, Chad Shaw wins again. Chad Shaw, he's becoming more valuable than cryptocurrency at the moment. Everything he seems to touch... He seems to be pinning. Chance, my man. We'll do a long uh, view. Like, you know, in long form, you'll be on the Aussie Armistice show. But, mate, once again with a stat class, we saw uh, Don Underwood, Chris Chandler. I mean, those two aren't sledges. Good to see Don Underwood continuing to still pull it and come out of nowhere. Hope to get him on the podcast. But, Chad, sure. It just invest in sure stocks. This guy is a sure thing. Take the chance on him. Every sort of pun you can throw in his name, chuck it in the comments right now. Chance went out and just, I think it was the overalls or the 242 class. The guy just needs to buy bigger shirts. He needs to build more shelves in his house because he's just filling them up with trophies. Uh, As Jamie Sheldon mentioned, he's up there as top three most busiest arm wrestlers at the moment. He's got matches coming out of the wazoo. You know, he's binoculars. He's just seeing money. His channel is coming off the chain, which uh, I'm a huge supporter of your YouTube channel. But he is just winning. Chance Shaw equals money at the moment in the arm wrestling world. Great win to you on the weekend. Speaking. Speaking of great wins, let's just come to the land down under. Jordan Davis goes bang. Now, for those that don't know the reach around, go back and have a look. Jordan Davis is a phenomenal puller, and he's just gone a bit radio silent over the last 12 months, 12 to 18 months. He is just looking for the right time to strike, and he struck hard. Bang! He was come out of nowhere. We had the New South Wales Championships on the weekend. Unfortunately, due to stupid COVID, the Aussie arm wrestler just couldn't make it. I'm just gagging for a microphone so I can call more matches and get up there. But geez, the tournament was fantastic. And Jordan Davis meets one of the Aussie arm wrestler's favorite pullers in Mario Tambarkas and just climbs his way most probably into the top five arm wrestlers in Australia by beating Mario, and he beat him quite convincingly. Now, the video will show you beats him quite convincingly. Uh, I'm sure there's context. I'm sure they both would have battled hard all day and pulled you know, heaps, but it doesn't matter. Jordan Davis. Go check out my episode with Jordan. We had a great chat here on the Aussie Arm Wrestler podcast, but bang, wow, made a statement. To the, not only the Australian arm wrestling scene, but he made a statement to the world. Watch out for Jordan Davis. While if you've got some leftover money from buying in the Chance Shaw stocks, head over, chuck some money on the reacher, Jordan Davis. 
I'm going to finish off with a little sneaky one here. Just happened to catch a bit of uh, Neil Pickup's uh, live stream. He had a few people on there. Oh, I've got the Arm Wars shirt. Go support Neil Pickup, you ledge. Wizard tits. You're a star. Love you, Neil. Anyway. And Jerry Cataret was on there, and he just wants to pull. He just wants to pull anyone. And a name he threw out there was Vitali. What do you think about that, guys? Jerry Cataret versus Vitali. Now, Vitali's like six foot 74, loves a top roll, and might just be able to bend back Jerry's flop wrist press. But where? Jerry just wants matches. He's seeing the pull that Devin's having. He's seeing the impact. He can make, and Jerry is now just getting a bit agitated. He's lost all of his fingernails because he's biting, and he's like, all these giants are pulling. Why aren't I pulling? I need a match. And he just threw it out there on the show. Go back and check it out over on Neil Pickup's channel. Threw it out there. Said he wants Vitaly. Uh, he wants anyone, whoever's left over from all the big matches he was saying, who's ever left. But he threw that name in, and that's the one that just made something of the Aussie arm wrestlers tingle and go bang. That's the match I want to see, and I absolutely love it. Guys, let me know what you think about all the topics on here. Whose arm wrestling stocks are you buying in? What do you think of the Jerry Vitali match? Also, what do you think of uh, Eagle's behavior lately? Is it strategic? Is it just stubbornness? You let me know. Also, thank you to those legend Patreon supporters who are supporting the Aussie Arm Wrestling channel. And thank you, guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Everything with the Aussie Arm Wrestler. And as always, ready, bang!